Who would have ever thought that a consumer staple stock like Clorox could do this? Shoot up from 150 to 240 and then crash from 240 to 120. But that's what Clorox did back when the pandemic started. And they couldn't keep up with demand. And when they could, well, there was too much supply. And as a result, stock price sold off because their earnings and revenues went down compared to the first half of 2020. Now, price finds itself respecting the 13 simple monthly moving average. Price is currently trading at 167 as they announced earnings before the bell opened and we had a nice gap and go. So the household goods manufacturers shares jumped roughly 10% after posting an earnings and revenue beat in the second quarter. They reported $1.67 earnings per share on $2.02 billion in revenue. Analysts were estimating only $1.18 on revenue of $1.88 billion. So, where's price heading next? Well, let's go back out to the monthly chart. You can see this massive wick here, massive wick here, um, which are going to serve as headwinds. Let's go down to the weekly chart. You can see three wicks. You definitely have buy in at this 152 level. So, buyers are protecting that 152 level with a vengeance. Alright, now my eyes gravitate to this level here on high volume, but price was breached going back to May. Next level of interest is going to be this level here, but it was already hit. We need to examine that level a bit more that's what you call a wick over wick. So you had a drop in price. There's some basin candles on a smaller time frame and then a huge drop down. This level was the origin of this huge drop down. So there definitely have to be buyers here. This level didn't work out because there was too much trading to the left. This area looks like a better level to have gotten short. All right, but we're going to drill down to the daily chart just to see what things are looking like. And I want to scroll left. All right, this is interesting. You had two gaps. All right, so when I look at the zone and the price structure on the daily chart, nothing impressive. Uh, let's go down to the eight-hour chart. Let's scroll down to the 4-hour chart. Yeah, when I look at the 4-hour chart, I see a zone that was already used up. that four hour level it was already used that price came back before the collapse uh, I'm going to scroll back out to the daily chart not in love with the price structure can't really find a level of interest on a smaller time frames but it worked It worked. Uh, let's see. So, where can price head next? It can revisit this level 176 to 183 ish. However, 
Look for price to pause. Before potentially moving higher. Has to wait for the moving averages to catch up. So price is overextended. I would anticipate a pullback. You have price supporting at the 200 day moving average serving as support. You know, let that 200 day moving average catch up. It's probably going to base for a while, allowing moving averages to catch up. But price can move higher and revisit this zone up here between 176 and 180. Um, I would say by the end of the year. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Please like the video.